Welcome back to Dark Theory Inc., where we unravel the secrets of the mystical and the mysterious. Today, we're diving into a power that might sound like something straight out of a superhero comic. Anima, one of the legendary eight cities of ancient Yogic tradition. Imagine having the ability to shrink yourself down to the size of an atom, just like Ant-Man in the Avengers. But this isn't the work of advanced technology, this is pure, spiritual power. Anima is said to grant advanced yogis the ability to reduce their physical form to the tiniest particle, allowing them to become invisible, undetectable, and to navigate through spaces that would normally be impossible to access. Think about how Ant-Man uses his suit to shrink to microscopic sizes, slipping through cracks, and even entering the quantum realm. With Anima, a yogi could achieve something similar, but without the need for any technology. They wouldn't just shrink, they'd become so small that they could slip into the very fabric of matter itself, phasing through solid objects like they weren't even there. But Anima goes beyond what you see in the comics. While Ant-Man's powers come from Pym particles and science, Anima is a reflection of something much deeper, a mastery over the self and the physical world. By shrinking down to this infinitesimal size, the yogi isn't just avoiding detection or gaining access to hidden places. They're letting go of the ego, dissolving into the very essence of existence, and realizing that the boundaries of the physical world are just illusions. In many ways, Ant-Man's suit is a modern metaphor for what ancient yogis believed was possible through intense spiritual practice. In Hindu mythology, beings like the monkey god Hanuman are said to have used Anima to perform incredible feats, such as entering fortified cities unnoticed. But unlike the comic book hero, who relies on a suit, these sages relied on their mastery over the mind and spirit. And while Ant-Man might use his powers to fight villains or save the world, the purpose of Anima is much more profound. It's not about gaining power or achieving fame. It's about transcending the material world, understanding the deepest truths of existence, and moving closer to enlightenment. So next time you're watching an Avengers movie or flipping through a comic, remember that the idea of shrinking down to the size of an atom isn't just science fiction. It's also a concept rooted in ancient mysticism, a power that represents not just control over the physical world, but a deep, spiritual journey. If you enjoyed this exploration into the mystical side of superpowers, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and as always, stay curious.